Why do fools fall in love? Uses the same 50s chord progression as Teenagers in Love. It also uses the same inversion where the baritone is here, second tenor's there, and the first tenor is above them. Just like Teenagers in Love. Let's try it. Let's see how their parts work. Do. Doomba, doomba. The bass starts on the tonic note, and so do, do, do. The baritone is there. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Let's see. try that. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Yep, that's what the baritone's doing. It's kind of high. The second tenor is higher still. Do, do, do. He's going. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And make sure you, that the second tenor changes that chord for everybody on the second note. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Do, do, do. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Let's try it. Good. Now, the first tenor. It's really high. I'll have to sing that in falsetto. One, three, five, eight. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. He's on the baritone's part. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Let's try it. He's with Frankie. All right. Now, when they get to the words, they just add some embellishments, and then they add an ending. And here's how it goes. Do, do, the baritone says, Why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Fool. Okay? So he, on the first two, he drops down, and the last one he hangs, and then he says, Ooh. Let's try it. Why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Now let's try the second tenor. Do, do, do. He's going to say, why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Fool. Let's try that. the first tenor. Do, 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 do. He's going to say, why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Ooh. And again, he only has two notes, so he needs to pick one of those notes. Remember, fall in love, not something in between. Fall in love. Okay, let's try it with uh, Frankie and the teenagers. Okay, now there's a bridge that has embellishments and words that change a little bit between the versions and you can play with them a little bit yourself but they follow basically a four one four five chord progression four one four five do so if this is a mm, one three do 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 so the baritone's gonna go Four, one, four, five, and the second tenor will go. Do, 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 four, one, four, five, and the uh, first tenor is going to go. 
two, one, two, four, one, four, five. All right, now if we throw in a little bit of embellishments, the baritone might go do, 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 do. Okay, he'll go like this. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, fall in love. All right. The second tenor will go one, three, five. five two. Okay, and here's what he'll do. Ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, fall in love. Okay. And then the first, the first tenor, do is an octave above there. Here we go, falsetto. And he's on the very same note for, for chord four. So he'll start like this. Ah, ooh, 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 ah, ooh, ooh, fall in love. All right. Let's try it with the teenagers. See if that works out okay with this version. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that'll be the baritone. See how that works out. Okay, that works okay. Now let's try the second tenor. One, three, five. The second tenor starts on five. Five, two, two. And there he is on the four. He's on the four chord, so he's a little bit higher. So he, he should go, ah. Okay, let's expect that, ah. Here we go. There we go. Now let's try the first tenor. Do, 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 do. And he's going to be cycling on the same note, and then he'll go up. Except if you throw in an embellishment, he'll jump up to the to the second tenor part. Okay, let's try that. We can play around, but that's the basics. Here we go. Okay, that was pretty rough on my part, but that gives the basic idea. Okay. All right, and that's the bridge. And the rest of the song is repetitions of that, except for the ending. The, very, the ending is a very classic normal ending that sounds like this. The ending is four, five, one, and what happens is, at the very last chord, they go up to the next person's part. So the baritone will go, do, 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 do. So why do fools fall in love? No change, because that's where the second tenor is, or the first, yeah, that's where the second tenor is. And then the second tenor will go, do, 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 do. Okay. Why do fools fall in love? And then the first tenor, who's been singing the baritone's part, do, do, do. Why, why do fools fall in love? Which is what you hear Frankie Lyman singing at the very end. Should we try it? That's kind of our big payoff at the end. So let's try it with Frankie and the Lyman and the teenagers. Do, do, let's do the baritone. Do, do, here, there he is. Why do fools fall in love? Yeah, 
yeah, that's the payoff. Now let's do the second tenor. He's going to go, um, do, 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 and let's see if he goes up. Do, do, I, so he's going to be there. Why do fools? Let's try that. Here we go. Why do fools fall in love? Awesome. And then let's do the first tenor. Why do fools fall in love? Okay, here we go. Last bit. And that is why do fools fall in love now I'm gonna go over some technical aspects be sure to like this video and you can listen if you're interested in the technical aspects uh, an interesting thing about this song is that uh, they sang it in different keys uh, it's in F sharp uh, on this recording uh, it which uh, we the way I can tell the key is uh, a couple of things. As usual, I just listen to a piece of the song and then kind of turn it off and sing to myself. And so that's the tonic. And then I play it on my pitch pipe. So it's, that's an F sharp. So it's pretty close to F sharp here. Da, da. Yeah, and it's interesting that the bass starts on that tonic note. It's just kind of curious. Now, but if we listen to this live recording, it's kind of interesting. It's actually a lot different. And interestingly enough, they kind of wander a little bit all over the place, but the band seems to be in the key of E flat. Um, Let's see here. I believe the bass starts. No, I think the ba band is in E. This bass starts in E flat. Let's hear. Weld. That's definitely an E flat. But if we go towards the band, they start. If we go towards the end. Yeah, the band's kind of in a different key than they are. That's kind of interesting, but that teaches you that this was famous band, so people like your bright, smiling faces and your energy, your dancing, just your your humanity when you sing, even if things go fall apart, even if you fall flat on your face musically. Yeah, the band right at that point is totally in a different key from the singers. Um, and now the technical aspect is the inversion here. Um, it's like Teenagers in Love. It's a 358 harmony, which is called the first inversion. That means that the chord is rolled upward one time. 358 instead of 135. And so what I've been doing as I've been singing this is I'll blow a uh, let's see on the recording I was working with it was F sharp so I blow one three five and then three is the baritone la da 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 but really normally a baritone sings da 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 but this time because it was rolled up the first tenor was singing the baritone, so he was singing up at high in the stratosphere. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyway, that's the key in the inversion, which you need to figure out when you're um, listening to a new song. That's all I wanted to go over, and uh, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe if you want to, although... I've got all sorts of random stuff I record. Thank you. Bye.